CEH version 13 AI. Man, this is, I'm excited when I saw this. So um, with all the work that I've done, I, you know, full disclosure, I haven't had a job in 13 years. I've been running my own company. And in the world that I operate in with CEOs and boards of directors and all that stuff and people who don't understand um, the technical aspects of my profession, when I walk into a room and I tell them my name is Rodney Gillette, I'm a certified ethical hacker and CEO of Firma IT Solutions, their ears automatically pop up because they've seen news about hackers. They know what that is. When I say I'm a certified ethical hacker, man, that, that just that captures their attention. That's what I need. You know, now certified chief information security officer, that's great. I love that cert too. That gets me a lot of engagement from my peers. But when I walk into a room full of people, I don't have to explain certified ethical hacker very much. It already gets their attention. So there's a lot of power in this certification. If you do not have it yet, get it. And if you don't know which one to get, get this one, right? You want to stay on the bleeding edge. Shoot, I might end up getting this one. This is amazing. You always want to stay on the bleeding edge because our adversaries are always on the bleeding edge. So we have to stay on the bleeding edge in order to be able to fight them. Uh, we have to have all that same knowledge, how to destroy things and how to get into things that we have no business getting into. We have to have that knowledge in order to protect people from the criminals that are using that for financial gain. So keep your skills sharp, keep studying my friends,